what is your next big project that you're going to be looking at, or do you have one? Um, well, there's a couple things going on right now. I'm, um, I'm working on a novel for, um, for Simon & Schuster mm -hmm. that will be out next year. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But actually, there's actually previews in the back of Mystery Society. Kelly Jones, who I did uh, Gotham After Midnight with, mm -hmm. finally talked him into doing some creator own stuff. Excellent. So we're doing a book called uh, Edge of Doom, which I think people will be really interested in because it's it's five issues, but each issue is a standalone story. Interesting. But they all tie together in the fifth issue, and you can read them in any order. So that sounds epic. <laughs> so I'm really having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's been a real challenge just to try to you know tell you know beginning, middle, and end in, in 22 pages, um, and then have this thread running through it that will tie everything together. Yeah. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, we also have the um, X-Files uh, 30 Days a Night crossover coming out from Wildstorm, which, you know, I didn't want to do any crossovers. I yeah. just, I'd been offered them before and I was, you know, didn't really seem like that great an idea, but X-Files seemed like it would really work. Yeah. And uh, I pulled in another buddy of mine, um, Adam Jones, who's uh, the guitarist for Tool. Mm -hmm. uh, and he does all their videos, and you know he's a really creative guy. I asked him to help me write it, and he actually got me around some of the because I, I my my first instinct when I, I you know was starting the crossover was how do you do the continuity because mm -hmm. it's you know thirty days a night is roughly about two thousand yeah and I think there's a two year overlap where Mulder is still part yep. of the thing so there was all these issues I knew that would be the first thing fans would come after. You know, if I screwed up the continuity, they'd hang me. Yeah, so, fans have a way of doing that, don't yeah. they? <laughs> well, I po when I posted the news, we posted, you know, Wildstorm finally announced it at, at uh, the Chicago Con. And as soon as I posted, first question was, is it in continuity? And I was like, <laughs> you know, so... It gets yes. you every time. <laughs> yes, it is. And Tom Mandrake's doing the art, so I'm really excited about that. Excellent. And uh, I've been working on, there's a couple series that I'm working on. I'm doing a, uh, a series with um, Glenn Fabry. Hmm. That um, called Lot Thirteen that we're at Wildstorm that we're about four issues in the can, and it is easily the most disturbing thing I've ever done, and I owe most of that to Glenn. Excellent, Glenn's art. If, you know, if you know his art at all, uh, he's the detail is unbelievable. Yeah. So, and in this, it's really disgusting stuff. <laughs> so we're seeing really detailed, disgusting stuff. Well, if, if, if you're going to go with horror, you might as well go all the way. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, yeah. Now, just in case our fans aren't familiar with your work, uh -huh. where can they find you online? Online? Honestly, Facebook is a really good place, or Twitter. Okay. And, just, and, uh, and then stevemiles.com. All righty. You know, which I promise I'll be updating soon. Because it looks like I haven't published anything <laughs> since, you know, 2001. If you go to my website, but well, it's I'll it's it's there. a hectic job. Yeah, but it's it's pretty easy to track me down All online. Right. I'm around.